Hi guys, this is Julie. Um, unfortunately, I wasn't able to make it to class today. We're actually in Philadelphia for a basketball game. So I'm just here to make a video to talk about my part, which is how athletics have to, has to do with a quality education in the secondary school. So for starters, there's been a variety of studies. They've talked about GPA, graduation rates, retention rates. And uh, there's been some kind of different results depending on the study. But in general, they have proven, um, they have suggested that athletes tend to have higher GPAs than regular students. And that even when you take into account the selection effect, which is the idea that, generally speaking, athletes tend to be better students, especially when you consider that athletes that might not do well in school will not allowed to be played, uh, to play sports, um, that even when you take into account that selection effect, that maybe athletes are more qualified to begin with, that they still have slightly better grades, although the significance is a little bit uh, smaller when you take that into account. And then the second thing with graduation rate is that athletes tend to graduate at higher rates. And then the last thing, um, they said sometimes in schools with, uh, you know, urban settings or maybe low socioeconomic students, that even when it's not seen in, a, you know, a higher uh, GPA or something, that generally speaking, athletes are less likely to drop out. So uh, you can see the effects of athletics in a higher retention rate. And that although maybe it's not a higher GPA, by keeping students in, you can then help them graduate and really help them succeed later on in life. So that's an accomplishment in itself. Um, I also want to talk about sports involvement and character education. Uh, a lot of people have talked about how involvement in sports leads to, uh, you know, you know, you got to understand the teamwork, you're a better group uh, member, time management skills when you have practices and games and this and that, you really have to be organized. Um, leadership and communication skills, obviously as a team you can be a captain, and even when you're not a captain, be, having a voice on a team and being able to lead people is definitely something you learn. And then it also talks about the importance of perseverance. There can be adversity, there can be bad times, you know, you're down by five with a minute to go and you just got to keep fighting because you don't know what could happen. Um, it also teaches you a strong work ethic and really just how, how to handle pressure situations. You know, even though in the office it's going to be something different than, you know, making a free throw or, you know, doing this in football, it's still just handling pressure and overcoming it is some, uh, some life lessons that can really help you later on. Um, and then just with other benefits of sports participation, there's improved motivation to, you know, get good grades. Uh, if you can't, if you don't pass certain classes, you might not be able to play. So a lot of students are motivated to pass science or to pa pass English so they can play on their, you know, high school sports team. And then it just improved confidence. That's with body image. That's with how you feel about yourself. Ten, uh, athletes tend to feel like they're more popular. They tend to have better peer relationships. Um, their teammates can be their closest friends. They can be someone to go to if they struggle or are having times. And then uh, lastly, just coaches being good role models. I mean, obviously the picture is of the guy hugging his coach, but coaches are great role models. They can help them. They can encourage them to go to college, to pursue their, you know, their interests. And especially for people who may not have the parents that had a higher education background, coaches are generally teachers, so they're going to encourage their student athletes to pursue higher education and also to do well in their high school courses. So um, that definitely leads to increased educational aspirations. So um, overall, I just think uh, athletics is a very important part of uh, a good quality secondary education for some people. Um, you know, whether or not everyone should be playing sports, I mean, it's not always other people have other interests. But uh, definitely physical activity is great for healthier lifestyles and just a bunch of other things, as I explained. Uh, enjoy the rest of the presentation.